Hello, this is Dr. Patrick Price again at the Houston International Wellness Center located in Houston, Texas. Today's topic is about parasites and yeast. And the question is, you ask yourself, uh, do I have this? Dr. Price, uh, do I have parasites to have yeast? My answer is going to be to everyone, absolutely yes. Most conditions always have underlying conditions. Many undiagnosed serious conditions, degenerative diseases, have parasitic infections. And of course, yeast. So if your body is very acidic, you take some pH paper, you test your saliva first thing in the morning, and then you can test your urine as well and find out where your pH is. You should do this over about a five-day scan. But if you look at the pH paper, you're going to find anywhere under about a 6.6, 6.8, especially if you're the same color as that tape, you know you're highly acidic. And if you're acidic, all the bad bugs are growing, especially the yeast. Yeast makes you have no energy, you don't sleep well, you eat all the bad foods, you crave sugar. Okay. But the parasites, roundworms, tapeworms, I mean, they can flourish as well. Uh, every restaurant has beef tapeworms eggs on its counters. So, so what's your defense to that? Your defense is actually your stomach. Your stomach has hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid helps destroy the, the eggs of the tapeworms, especially most parasites and yeast as they enter the body this way. Okay. So with parasites, your protection is the stomach. So guess what? If you're having bad digestion and you're not acidic in your stomach, but you'll check your pH, you'll find out in your mouth. If you're too acidic here, it means you're too alkaline in your stomach. That 1.5 pH you're supposed to have in your stomach is going to be off and it's not going to destroy the bad bugs as they come through. So Dr. Price, what do I do? Well, every patient goes through this in my office. Eventually, if you want to have weight loss, you want to help with degenerative diseases, pain, uh, energy, all these, all these things basically is going to be killing the bad bugs and have more of the good bugs in your body. Lots of probiotics. So I have a program called the Parasite and Yeast Cleanse. Okay, This is now formally called the Beauty and Wellness Program. As you begin everything, you're going to begin it with what? Oxydetox. This is your first cleanse to open up the passageway from this end to the other to get ready for the Parasite Cleanse. Now, what are strong killers? There's products on the market, like uh, Paratrex. They're very good at killing the bugs. You've got uh, liquid ones, like Vermifuge here, Black Walnut, Clove, Quasiite Bark. These are all nuclear warfare for your bugs in your body. So I do a slow release, a fast release, use some pills and liquids in the body, and you take this twice a day. What else can I do? Diametaceous Earth, great stuff. Not just for your pools, but actually they make a food grade that you can have in your body and help scrub the intestines of your bugs. Yeast hate what? Oregano. Okay. ADP, great product here. Emulsified oregano by Biotics. Uh, you have liquid forms, pill forms, but this is one of my favorites because this goes in there and slow releases through your whole intestinal tract. This will start slowly killing off the yeast in your body. Now you got products like this, Primal Defense, and, and numerous probiotic products on the market. As you start killing the bugs in your body, you will kill some of your good bugs also. So at nighttime, make sure you're taking a probiotic also. Um, this is called MMS. I'm not even going to explain that here on the video, but in my office I will. This is a, a great way to add to your routine as well. Um, things like this. This is lymphatic cleaners help open the lymphatics that <clears throat> we get in our throat. This will help clean the process also because all the little trash cans in the body are called the lymphatics and they have to cleanse and open as well. Iodine is good to take, help your immune system along the way. Okay, And of course there's products that has garlic and chlorophyll and these are other good killers for the bad bugs. Guys, it takes about two months minimum to start knocking down the yeast and the parasites in someone's body. If someone has a very serious yeast overgrowth, or candida as they call it, it may take them up to four months of changing their diet and getting on a program like this where you're going weeks on and a week off. You slowly go up and down through the process. But you can do it, and I'm here to help you. I'm Dr. Patrick Price, talking about parasites and yeast today. You have a great day.